Morning, ladies and gentlemen, girls and guys, lads and ladies, and anything in between. Um, you join me on a canal in Cheshire, not too far from Maxfield. I've got some jig heads after a big perch. After a big perch, um, I'm going to work some across the bottom, jig some up in the water. I've got a few different ones. I'm trying to catch a big perch. Now I've caught big perch from lakes. Uh, I've gone over the three pound barrier, but. I want a big canal perch. I've not had a big canal perch. I've only had them up to about a pound. Like, I was down that way the other week, just about 200 yards past that bridge, and I seen a guy have a perch that was definitely over two pound, probably touching two and a half pound, and I want a bit of it. So I've got this out today. Now, I have got some wire traces with me and some lures, should the pike start snatching this, because I'll bite straight through this, you see. Um, and I don't want wire trace on these, because it will just put the perch off. Um, we've got dog walkers coming, so I better wrap this up quick. But I've got Lexi with me, who's camera lady, and she's also partial to a big perch. So between us, we're going to have a look around this stretch of canal and just see what we can get rolling. Now, it is raining quite heavy. We're under these um, big trees up there. Um, it's dog walkers everywhere, which is not a bother. It's uh, nice to see people out. I'm just trying to film in between people. Like, like don't want everybody seeing what I'm doing. <laughs> but... Um, the water's pretty murky, so that's definitely going to have an effect because we're fishing on site. Now, the perch like to get anywhere where there's a bit of cover, a bit of shelter, rocks in the walls, tree roots. And I do this for two reasons. Um, they're ambush predators, so they'll stay there and wait for little fry or fish to come past, and they'll just snuffle them up and pounce out. And also, there's a lot of pike in here, um, so they don't want to get eaten by the pike, so they'll lie and, like, well, basically, they don't want to be eaten, so they're hiding. Um, so they will be tucked up into walls, tree roots, um, any feature really, anything where I can get in a little gap or a little crack and uh, hide out there for an hour or two. Just have an easy life really, what we all want. But um, we're gonna have a little walk up and down here. I've got Lexi Lad there. She's camera lady and as I say, she's partial to a big perch. We've got the little jig heads. I'm gonna have a few casts now. Um, see if we can winkle something out and I'll show you a little bit more about the jig heads in a bit, how we work them. Maybe a bit of low fishing. We've got about two, three hours fishing. so. Um, just see what happens. I'm totally new to this canal, totally new. I know nothing about it. All as I know is I've seen a perch come out down that way the other day. I have no idea what size they go up to. I have no idea how many pike or what pike. Um, I've seen some fizzing, like big plumes of bubbles. Look like carp bubbles. So that'll be nice, wouldn't it? Stumble upon some canal carp, but I know nothing about it. I'm just looking up and down now. Uh, and this is just a complete wreck. Eh? I'm here for a chance. These overhanging bushes and trees look the perfect place to start. As perch, being the ambush predators that they are, would sit there. So it was time to flick the rod out, tie it over to the far margin, and start jigging that jig head. So what I'm doing here with this little jig head, it's pulling across the bottom, and as I'm twitching the rod, it's going. So I'm just trying to mimic something on the bottom. So it's being pulled up a bit and down, being pulled up a bit and down. I'm just giving the rod a little twitch, just lifting it up and down, lifting it up and down. And what I'm hoping is a big perch comes along and snuffles that. <laughs> bum, bum. But I have just seen up there a big commotion on the surface, and it looked like a pike attacking roach. So it's already got me thinking. I've been here 10 minutes and already thinking, switching from the perch to the bigger lure and the wire trace. We'll stick with this for another 20 minutes or so and see how we go. And there's a biker coming, gotta move. Wow, check this out. <laughs> I honestly thought I was into something then. It's a piece of tile pulling, I'll take that with us, I won't leave it here. Because I was reeling it in, I hit it and then it sort of flapped up to the top and down. It actually felt like there was a fish on it, it actually moved a bit. It's got the adrenaline going anyway. Definitely looks like it could hold something around here. I love this time of year when the, um, the leaves are coming off the trees. Just can't wait for a frost to be on the fields. It is absolutely beautiful. You know, the, the frost on the ground, the frost on the fields. No leaves on the trees, it won't be long. The water will clear up a little bit. Might get some nice pike on the go. It is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing like an, a true English canal. Nice early morning walk. And we, we're dangling our thing. In all fairness, I'm going to change the colour of this in a minute because the water is a bit murky. I've got a nice yellow one I'm going to drop on. Being a sight predator, it would definitely help. But I've got a feeling we've got some walls along there. 
I've got a feeling that something could be lurking in them walls because perch do tend to hang in the in the walls in the in the walls in the walls tree roots stuff like that it does seem a little bit shallow here well, I've seen a pike attack a roach or something attack a roach could have been a big perch or a pike back up the other end we've still got a couple hours so I'm really gonna um, try and work it here but yeah as I say I'm totally virgin to this canal don't know absolutely anything about it it's the first time I've ever fished it it's gonna take a lot of getting used to but uh once you can find the spots and what works you should be able to get into fish regular that's the plan so we'll have a few more flicks with that little um, jig head and then we will uh, change that and maybe get on the lures. Need to winkle something out for your people. We can do this, can't we? We can do this. These type of swims with the buildings like that, to show over here, Lexi, are really good. So what you can do is you can pass and you can hit the wall and the lure will hit the wall and then drop in right by it like that. So you don't have to worry about losing it. And that is ideal. You can fish close up to the wall every time, and I believe that is where they'll be. A little bit of a twitch. Definitely going to change the colour of that in a minute, though. I think something might have had a little hit then. Strange. That's what we're going to do now. We've just clipped that little one off. I've got a feeling about this yellow one. I also might try a little minnow soon. I'll put this yellow one on for now and uh, see how this goes. Hopefully we can uh, trigger something. This might be a bit big, but perch do tend to uh, snuffle a lot of bait in one hit. You know, have that like that. That one's going to be jigging across the bottom like that. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So that should come like that. See if we can get it working. These type really do have some nice action in the water too. If I just flick it out there and bring it back, as you can see. Really does look good, doesn't it? It's ready for a pike or a big perch, that. With this type of fishing, effort really does equal reward. It's all about having five minutes in one spot, moving on five minutes in another spot and moving on and covering as much ground as possible, trying different laws and different retrievers on the law. Now I can't wait to get back into the pike fishing because I used to catch quite a few pike, but it's something I haven't done for a while. I need to get back onto these. I'm not having much luck been fishing for an hour now. So we're gonna try this little minnow. I'm probably gonna have half an hour on this, have a bit of lunch, then I'll have an hour on the lures after up the top end where it looks a bit more wild and a bit more deeper, but I've got a feeling for this little minnow. If there's any perch around here, surely they're going to snuffle out. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, we've hit a load of rain and it's bad rain. It's wet rain. You know what I mean when I say wet rain. That's moving in. Wet rain, wet, 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 wet. Is Wayne wet? Rain? So we took cover. So we're going to put the big lure on. We're going to have a bit of lunch now, see what we got for lunch. We're going to put the big lure on. And the next time we get a little break, we're gonna to head to the next trees because we're not getting soaked. Something's just boiled a little bit on top then went over. And as a fisherman knows, especially carp fishermen who watch the water, if you see a slack spot or a different form in the um, when the wind's on the water, that's something under there doing that. So we're gonna, what we got? Oh, this weather's getting bad. It's probably going to get worse, isn't it? But yeah, we've been fishing on the little minnow. And uh, I like the action on it. Um, but as I say, I'm new to this canal, totally new. I have no idea. If anybody's in this area, can point me in any good canal spots for pike or perch, get them comments rolling. Let me know. <laughs> you might see me around sometime. It's showing no signs of stopping. It's still black over there. Um, our carp is just by that bridge in the distance, but we're going to have a walk up there for an hour and an hour back. I don't know if it's wise because me and my daughter, we enter, we're not in waterproof, so we dry because we've got shelter, but we're not. Um, our shelter isn't that. Our shelter isn't that good of a shelter no more. It's starting to get wet. So, um, don't know what to do. 
We're gonna have to make a decision. Do we get wet and go for it? Well, I've just put this lure on and about an 18 inch wire trace. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it. It is a bit wet, but it's knocked off a little bit. And we've said, if it gets heavy, we're gonna turn around and get to the car. I'll tell you what, the smell of the fire coming out of these boats is absolutely amazing. Uh, I could live on one of them. This little bad boy here is gonna be got through. Some bull rushes and that round here. So we're literally gonna put the miles in. We'll probably walk a mile or two up, a mile or two down. If the rain gets any heavier than now, we're turning round and that's it. We're not getting soaked. But it's only like dribbling now, which is good. Dribbling. This looks quite uh, quite productive, to be honest. I think we're going to uh, have a few chucks here. I'll bring you back if anything happens. Really liking the look of this little bit here. This little wide bit. Some rushes at the back, some lilies at the back. But that'll be good for carp if there's any here. So I've seen some fizzing. Liking the look of this canal now. It was, to be honest, down there, it was getting a little bit narrow, a bit shallow, and a bit a bit busy with boats and people. Now, I know the pike will be there, but this is a bit more deeper, a bit wider, and a bit wilder. We'll have a few big chucks over there, see what's about. It's a good shot, wasn't it? Feeling lucky. Just joking. They'd actually eat something that could have been a leaf or a bit of debris on the bottom though. Well, I've just had a perch, about a pound, follow that big lure. So I'm gonna switch over to that little minnow again now. Just lost the perch. Um, Probably not even a pound in weight, but it was my first fish on a jig. And it's, I've literally lifted out the water, didn't I, Lexi? Got to about there and it's dropped off. Um, it might have made a pound, 10 or 12 ounces. It wasn't, it wasn't massive. Right, I've just lost another, probably a touch smaller, eight ounce, 10 ounce. Right here again by this boat. So we've had two, two on in two casts. Um, see if we can get something going now. Excite in this. Never had nothing on a jig head before or a little little rubber lure like this. It's about now it's it. Typical, put the camera on. Nothing. Morning. He's gone out yet? No. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> well. The last 10 minutes, I've had two perch on and one follow. Um, no fish though, but uh, this little minnow, this little minnow here is doing the job. I don't know if they're just hitting the tail end of it and they're not actually getting the hook in the mouth. But I'll just tweak the, tweak the hook sizes and the, um, the jelly to suit. Um, but yeah, I've just stopped at this little wide bit of the canal now. It's like, it's like a little basin bit. So I'm gonna send this little um, tiny minnow over there a few times and uh, see if we can get one because we might just have one. I was unsure whether to put this video out or not. We're not done yet, by the way. Anyway, I don't know what's going to happen within the next half an hour when I walk back down there. But I was unsure what to do with this video. I'm putting it out so you can see what's coming, really. Um, there'll be a lot of this coming, a lot of pike fishing, a lot of sea fishing, congas and cod, a lot of carp fishing. We're doing a lot of it, really. We're going to send this out now and uh, see if we can get you a perch. What just happened, Lex? There was a big perch and it looked about £2. Underneath the well, just by the front of that boat. I was bringing it in. I've just gone to lift. This little minnow, way it is, little minnow of mine, there is he. Out the water and the rod's actually gone round. A very, very good perch, close to a couple of pounds. Um, we got, we got no time before we got to leave, but we're gonna put the effort in. Um, this is exciting, this is. Um, could have done with a GoPro, really. I could have had some really good action for you today, even though there's no fish. It's just hard in the wet with your phone, but, uh, there's going to be some good perch videos here this winter, people. Unfortunately, the rain has took a turn for the worst. And as I say, we haven't got our waterproof. So we was going to have another half hour, an hour. But if it was just me, I'd probably go for it. She's not dressed to be out in this. Um, and it's coming down heavier now. Don't forget, people, we're going to be doing a lot more of this. Um, four or five hits we had in the last half hour. Um, I think that was smaller perch. Maybe the, you know, the little jelly was a bit big. Maybe I was retrieving a bit fast, but um, definitely worked some stuff out today, and I know they're here. 
and I'll be back so like subscribe hit that bell icon and I'll see you all on a drier day Tatio!